Alaskan tundra, a place vast and wide, full of all sorts of creatures. Many things walk across this tundra, one of which is the caribou. Ah, delightful creature. They gaze around, eating and migrating, just taking care of their own business. But on this day, something strange was on the tundra. Ah, oh, yes, something very strange indeed. Two caribou lay lifeless in the middle of nowhere. But what had happened? What mystery happened? Who? Why? Ah, this tundra has its secrets, all right. And this is the story filled with twists and turns on the Alaskan tundra. It happens quick. How much fun are we having? Yeah! Oh! He's hammered. Our story begins in the small town of Cold Bay, Alaska. Locals not only consider this place home, but a place of peace and safety. Our town is really quiet. It's really crime free. It's very friendly. We have very good neighbors. We just love living here. But this was a different day. A day of no peace or safety. Good evening, I'm Maya Ramirez. Our top story tonight, authorities are searching for someone who murdered two caribou east of Cold Bay, Alaska. In September of 2021, the Cold Bay Sheriff's Office received a call reporting two caribou had been killed on the Alaskan tundra. At this point, we began an investigation looking into what had taken place. 911, what's your emergency? I have an emergency. This bad. Sir, calm down. You calm down. There are two dead caribou that's dead. Okay, tell me what's going on. Two what? Dead caribou, you know, like ranger, they're dead, they're dead ranger. Okay, police are on their way. Okay. Witnesses saying they've seen a very unusual amount of activity in the area. See, I come all the way from Louisiana to fish these waters here in Alaska. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my life, but I've never seen anything like this. Yes, I saw this guy digging through my trash. I even tried to give him some change because I thought he was homeless. Those caribou are, are a precious commodity to us around here. And for someone to just come take two of them like that, that really hurt. I really hope and pray they find whoever did this. Two caribou disappeared, gone in the blink of an eye. But the question is, who is the enemy? The search for the killer continues next. Hey. I'm putting on my core body foam by Elimishield. What is that? It's like foam that makes your scent go away. No, you just spray it in your hand, lather it all over your body, work it in really good, let it air dry. Yeah. This paired with all their other products makes you literally scent free. Oh, that's awesome. With the caribou migration, locals are saying there's an increase in the population of grizzly bear activity in the area. My name is Ruck. J just Ruck? Ruck. Ruck. Well, well my uh, SoundCloud name is Young Cole Bay, representing for everybody in the CB. We can cut that, right? Okay. Now tell me, have you ever seen bears? Like, that's what I want to know. Have I seen bears? Yeah, bears. Yes, I've seen one once before. I was afraid of him, so I, he was hairy and large, 
and I stayed away from him. Do you know where you're at, lady? There's nothing but bears out here. Oh, okay. okay. So, I fight bears every day. That's part of the struggle of being in Cold Bay. Like, have you ever just like stumbled upon upon a bear? Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Matter of fact, every time that I would walk up to the uh, up to the library so that I could get phone service phone service to upload my SoundCloud, uh, I would see these bears on the side of the road, and it's like, well, if they on the right side, I know I got to go to the left side just so that I don't come across them because James told me how rough they could be. Well, yeah. well, thank you for this interview. I, no, thank I you. Think. Thank you. We appreciate you being here in Cold Bay. Represent for everybody in the CB. Young SoundCloud, Young uh, Cold Bay coming at you. Thank you. A newly found video evidence right here. The grizzly bears right here at the scene. Right where the caribou lay. Case closed, right? In this area, there are grizzly bears. They are capable of taking down caribou. We did find grizzly bear prints at the scene of the crime. What we saw, no man, no man should ever see that. In an exclusive interview, we had the opportunity to speak with amateur bear expert Ben Mongold. Start by telling us, I'm sure you've heard a little bit about the incident in Cold Bay. We heard about it, we know about it, people cannot stop talking about it. Um, several witnesses say they've seen bears in this area. Is this typical for this time of the year? Absolutely. These bears are bulking up, they're foraging for anything they can get. These are omnivores and they are hungry. They're going to eat anything they can get their hands on. Based on the evidence you've seen and you know about, would you say this looks like a bear kill or something else? I'd say this is indicative of a bear consuming a large male. In this case, you have a caribou. They were not very tidy eaters, as you can tell. This, this, this was quite a mess, and uh, to me, that points straight to the grizzly bear. That's all bears do is eat cannabis and, and berries, cannabis and berries. That's all you ever see them eat is cannabis and berries. What else do you think this could be if it's not a bear kill? Well, on occasion, you do have a very brave type of hunter who comes out here and attempts to try on our wilderness here at Cold Bay. Could it have been a caribou hunter? It could have been. But unfortunately, this is a very difficult part of the country. One of the harder places to hunt in the world. And frankly, we don't see a lot of hunters have success. And honestly, we don't see a lot of them lead a lot. It didn't take long to figure out from the plane manifesto, there were two passengers from Louisiana landing right there in Cole Bay. Every year, the caribou begin their great migration along the Alaskan tundra. Their horns admired by hunters. Many travel to Alaska to chase these elusive animals. This time of year, we see a lot of hunters that fly in and out of Alaska that come up here to hunt caribou. We received a, an anonymous tip uh, that gave us a few leads on which way we should take this investigation. There's a lot of hunters that come to Cold Bay. Most of them are unsuccessful. These two, they had the look of a killer. I approached them at the local food truck. One of them was shorter than the other, and he said he was the cameraman. He had a strange look about him. He looked young, but at the same time, he looked very old. Time had not been good to him. When I asked them if they were successful, 
they declined to reply. And when I heard the news of the two missing caribou, immediately my thoughts went to those two individuals. Our investigation led us to the group of hunters known as Buck Commander. The group of vigilantes travel the country in search of white-tailed deer, but on occasion target much larger game. But which one of these individuals could have done this? Surely it took more than one to take down two bull caribou. These caribou were killed individually, uh, separately about 413 yards apart. In my experience, there had to be two shooters. Not one man could make both of those shots. Lead investigator Wayne Daniels wasn't going to let this case go unsolved. His investigation led him to a possible suspect. In this area, there are grizzly bears that can take down caribou. But in this case, we feel like there's more to it than this. Mr. Thomas, what are we here for is I need to ask some questions about some uh, caribou situation. Jordan Summit, a professional cameraman, spends his time following the group behind the lens during the fall. Some would even call him the real Buck Commander. I'm a man, he's the Buck Commander. Have you been to Alaska in the past year? Well, I did go, yeah, I mean. When we interviewed Mr. Summit, he was very reluctant in giving us any details. Is that not in Alaska? Is that not you involved in that? Yeah, I was there. That was me. I mean, there's nothing out of that. What is that on the ground right there? That looks like a caribou. Well, it's not kind of a caribou, but it is one. During our interview, we looked at his social media and we have documentation of him with caribou. So are you telling me you were there and this caribou is laying on the ground and you have no earthly idea who shot this caribou and is on the ground and you're standing there? Is that what you're telling me? I have worked on this case for a number of months and I feel like he is our main witness. If anyone knows who did it, it is him. There, there were two caribou and what I can tell you is that we did have a grizzly bear in our camp. There was a grizzly bear in our camp. You saw it was very perfect. We feel like that he knows more than he has told us, and we wish to get the truth on this situation. You saw the you saw I the saw, I videoed it. I videoed the grizzly bear. You so you think a grizzly bear came into your camp and killed two caribou in one whack? Yeah, why not? Have you ever seen a grizzly bear? I have. But Jordan wasn't going to give up too much information. It's obvious he was covering for someone, but who? Remember, the truth will always come out. More on the investigation when we come back. What's up guys, it's Willie Robertson. Hey Willie. I'm excited to announce that Buck Commander has teamed up with Sportsman's Box. Sportsman's Box, what's that? You're gonna get a really cool subscription deal. You get a box in and stuff that we've handpicked. You're gonna get exclusive deals on Buck Commander gear. Buck Commander gear? Get yourself a Buck Commander Sportsman's Box. I'm ordering right now. Ha! Ah! This is the best day ever. We keep circling back to this, was it a bear, was it a human, what could it have been? You have two slashed up and mangled carcasses that were eaten in their entirety, that were fully consumed. This is what we see all the time with the bear. Now, could this have been a human? The problem is consuming two carcasses in one sitting in their entirety. Now, that's not gonna be your average build human. That's just very unlikely. Even with your competition eaters, Eater X, Kobayashi. So off the bat, you'd think, well, this is probably a four or 500 pound person. And maybe that's what it would take to consume all this in one sitting. However, that person is gonna have a hard time uh, traversing the terrain out there. So what you're really looking for is somebody who is, is kind of tapered off waist down you're gonna go pretty flat, hit the gut, taper back down. Sort of like if you stand up a bullfrog, right? You stand them up, long gangly legs, all belly, and just kind of thin arms like this. 
Could it be a human? Yes. Um, probably a bear, though. It's probably a bear. Willie Robertson. Oh, a man of mystery indeed. He travels near and far in search for backstrap. Many a deer have met their demise because of him. But there's no deer in Alaska, only caribou. Willie was recently spotted visiting a local church in Cold Bay, Alaska. But what would bring him to this small town? I'm here at the home of Willie Robertson for an exclusive interview to find out what really happened to the two missing caribou. Willie Robertson, are you aware of the disappearance of two caribou in Cold Bay, Alaska? Uh, when? September of 2021. Jordan, when were we in Alaska? Last year. So it's possible you could have been there in September of 2021. Oh, it's more than possible. I was there. And I believe it was in September of 2021. Now, I spoke to some people in Cold Bay, and they kind of said they saw some two people from Buck Commander there. You have anything to say about that? Um, yeah, that was probably me and Jordan Summit. So you do know Jordan Summit? Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> he's videoing. So both of you were there in Cold Bay, September of 2021, when the disappearance of two caribou happened. He videoed. We actually had video footage of me being there. Now, Willie, Jordan Summit went on record saying he wasn't there. Jordan, did you tell somebody we weren't there? You told me not to say anything. I meant to like the Buck Commander guys. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, me and Jordan Summit were there. We were hunting uh, in Alaska, I think last year. Our investigation is trying to figure out who took the two caribou. Was it a grizzly bear or a human? Willie, I want to ask you point blank. Did you have anything to do with the two deceased caribou in Cold Bay, Alaska? Uh, it was probably me. So you're admitting that you were involved in the two dead caribou? Well, I shot two caribou in the morning in Cold Bay, Alaska. So could have been me, probably was. I got video. You have video of this? Well, of course I do, that's what I do. <laughs> I film my hunts. So I guess we know who killed the two caribou. Yes. Now tell me, what was up with those bears? Oh, so that's the crazy part. So this dude calls me and he's like, hey, you want to go hunt caribou? It was really the last minute. And so I was like, yeah, why not? I've never been to Alaska. It's going to be the adventure of a lifetime. Big Alaska, caribou. How can it get any better? I'm a little nervous about these bears. I ain't into bears, Jordan. Now, I got a gun, Jordan's got a camera, so. So me and Jordan loaded up. Uh, I bought probably a thousand dollars worth of gear because they sent me a list like this is all the stuff you'll need. I've got survivor gear. I've got everything you can possibly think of. Special boots, wool socks, wool underwear. Go up there with all my bags. We fly in to Anchorage. Then we go down to Cold Bay. Then we took one of these like beach planes with the giant tires and went out in the middle of nowhere. These things. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> You're glad I'm going first. I want to see you take off first. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs>
Landed that sucker, got loaded in. We're sitting around the campfire, we're all excited. I'm supposed to be there for like a week. All right, first morning, Alaska. It rained a little last night. Slept decent. Cold. Please still sleep. <laughs> I wake up the next morning and I'm sitting there, literally my coffee, I've got on like jogging pants. So then the guide steps in, he goes, uh, hey Willie, there's some shooter caribou right outside of the tent. Bulls, I saw the lead one was pretty good. I didn't take time to look at the rest. Okay. Um, but uh, what needs to happen? Well, first we gotta get our gun. Yeah. You may wanna get your stuff. And so I was like, this is happening really fast. So I just grab a handful of bullets. We're talking two minutes, the first one's down. Well, the others just kind of walk off and they're standing there where there was another shooter. And he goes, hey, we can move over here and let's get another one. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my story. <laughs> well, we hiked and hiked and hiked and hiked, and we got just, I mean, just where I couldn't see the plane. And that's where we smoked the second one. <laughs> so in about 12 minutes, this whole thing is over. It was supposed to be a week. All the gear that I packed, I never even unzipped the suitcase. And it was over, the whole hunt was over. Jordan, I can hang all kind of stuff on this. Shovels, rakes, lawnmowers, kids, you. All right, and now we're gonna go get the other one, which is just right up the way. Uh, oh, mama. So they, these boys spent all day lugging the meat, uh, getting the horns, getting everything ready. Well, because I shot two, we couldn't take them back on the plane. So we laid them all out to kind of dry the meat, and let it cool off. Well, later that evening. Dude, you ought to go look at it. How big? Big one. He's eating the, uh, he's eating the meat. Oh, he's all over your, your uh, oh, caribou. Man. You need to go fight him off. So I actually shot the caribou, but the bears ate the caribou. So then there was a discussion like, well, do we run the bears off or do we? And so we finally decided, as long as they're not eating us, 
I guess they can just eat the meat. Willie's a nervous eater. He's got a bear out there. Get everybody in here. Well, I figured if I was going out, I'm like, well, I'll be eating caribou and he's eating me. Circle of life. Circle of life. <laughs> and we woke up the next morning. Everything is gone. And what they didn't eat, they buried. We woke up this morning bare. Got all our stuff that we saw last night. Let's go check it out. They're out here uncovering it all. This is solid, covered in dirt. Get much left for ribs. It's unbelievable. I literally went from Westmore, Louisiana all the way to Alaska just to feed three grizzly bears two beautiful caribou. So all I got is the horns. So what did y'all think happened? Strange things indeed happen on that Alaskan tundra. In the caribou snafu, it turns out the hunter definitely shot the caribou, but it was the bear is the one with the free, easy dinner. Sorry, <laughs> I look it over, she's like spinning around. <laughs> when we come back, we find out who the killer is. The crazy killer. Crazy caribou killer. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I was born and raised right here in Cold Bay. See, this is my granny's house. Uh, I was coming over here to bring her some hummus. He was just looking toward me, and I was looking at him. And I actually thought he was coming my way, so I took off. Someone to come and just take two of them? That hurt. What was that last part? I saw a polar bear eat a grizzly bear at one time and a honey bun. We found receipts where Mr. Summit had bought Shovels, duct tape, beef jerky, as if he was trying to cover up a crime. Everyone just kind of keeps to themselves. Good. Don't look at me. Okay, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard not to look at you. <laughs> we are. <laughs> You're good. There are bears in the area. This is way more than that. That would work out. In the dog's water area. If you're talking about flea markets and uh, uh, carnivals, uh, the... I mean, man, what a great spot with a great group of friends that uh, we really hadn't even hung out that much. So, got a, that shot place, got a funk about him. Is that me? Is that? <laughs>